so uh, if you look at the diabetes numbers that hb1c uh, target hb1c what is defined it is uh, below 7% to say a good control because uh, even if your sugar is like if it is hb1c like 8 or 9 you may not have any symptoms you may be completely asymptomatic still if this hb1c is is high for a long time it it is silently it causes the damage to your organs like it can cause both microvascular complications in your eyes kidneys and nerves or also the macrovascular complication like it may cause complication in heart in brain and a uh, peripheral vascular disease so uh, this number is very important and that's why we need to keep the hb1c below set target to avoid this long long term complication uh we need to be in targets as well. so i think uh, this is absolutely not true uh, definitely it's not on what you eat that will decide that you will develop diabetes or not basically uh, diabetes develops due to the a lot of risk factors like if you have family history of diabetes or maybe if you are overweight or obese or if you are sedentary lifestyle this factor will decide you develop diabetes or not and just not what you eat definitely as we as we all we know diabetes is a disease of carbohydrate fat and protein metabolism so uh, when we eat more carbohydrate and more less protein and less fat that time definitely you are more prone for a uh, uh, bad diet glycemic control or more sugars but uh, it is definitely not when you eat just the non vegetarian you are at low risk or if you are not developed diabetes this is a definitely a myth